What did she- Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. Welcome back to the live stream. I am playing some more butterfly soup because I could not wait. I just had a dream about my childhood best friend who is also female and even though we've been friends since childhood, it just feels like- it feels like something's going on. My girl Dia is very, very confused and <laughs> I just really want to figure out what's going on here. I want to find out if she's coming back to my school and if we're going to fall in love and if we're going to date. That would be really important to me. And thank you so much everybody for coming. Hello everybody. Welcome chat. Thanks for stopping by. Now let's hope in this stream that nothing happens. That no bad technical difficulties happen because they happen every time and I'm tired of people watching the VOD and being like, oh my goodness, what is wrong with this girl? Hello guys and welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to play more of this game. Nope, we're not doing a new game. We're loading and our girl is waking up from the best dream she ever had in her entire life. She's face planted. I don't think she fell asleep in her bed that night, but there's a lot of exclamation marks going on and a lot of dots. Dia hits her alarms and flops face first into bed. Oh, she gets to sleep more? Her morning routine includes lying in bed for 10 minutes thinking about how tired she is. Let's uh, do it. I'm so excited to see where this goes. I'm so excited for some more hilarious dialogue. I didn't realize it back then, but now that I think about it, that was really... By that, she means that dream. Could it be that I'm a... I'm a... A le... A le... What? Just spit it out, girl. A bat... Let's Okay, can, can we... Can we just say the word? This is an Asian LGBT game. I'm really excited for it because I'm just- I love narratives that don't, um, I guess just align with what I am normally used to. And thank you so much. May is pissed and Queen Cousin Sisters for the super chats. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Girls, do I like him? Right now, Dia is very young, so maybe she just doesn't know yet. No. That's impossible. I don't feel that way about other girls at all. That's not what I saw in the dream last night. It was the cutest thing ever. Yeah. Thank you so much, official MC. <laughs> and I'm so glad to be playing Butterfly Soup again. And Kaneki Ken, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm sorry I'm not playing Doki Doki Literature Club. If you guys watched the Doki Doki stream, I tilted real bad after that one scene uh, with Sayori. <laughs> Because Min looked and acted like that, yeah. my heart must have confused her with a guy. Or maybe you just love Min, and there's nothing wrong with that Dia. Any girl would have felt something, even if they were yeah. straight. Yeah. Do you think that she's making a good point, chat? I don't know. And it was just her. Min was special, so she was an exception. Plus, nothing ever came out of it. It's in the past now. It was a very good, it was a good dream. Nothing crazy happened. We just hung out and went to a dog park. Which is super romantic, actually. Yeah. Something like that'll never happen again. So it doesn't count, right? Right? If Min hadn't moved away, what would have happened? After 10 minutes, Dia unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands. My classmate Akarsha messaged me. I love Akarsha. She's my favorite. Let's check our computer. Thank you so much, William, William Hatch, and wasting my time for the super chats. I caught you live again. I love that you're doing an LGBT game. Me too! It's, it's so, so good. It's not just, it's not just a game. It's a good game. And I'm excited. Hey, Dia! Hey! Hey! What? What do you call a lesbian with long nails? Single. Okay. She just like dropped that joke on me and went offline and I don't... I don't fully understand it. I'm not... I'm not really good at understanding jokes. Chat, please explain it to me because I don't, I just don't get it. Jolie Merriman has become a sponsor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the sponsor. All right. She cracked the lame cringeworthy jokes that she always does. I go outside. Is she going to be here? Of course she is. Hey, Dia. If I were an enzyme, I'd be DNA helicase so I could unzip your jeans. Okay. Dia briskly begins walking away without her. Yeah. Man, you're not even trying. The optimal counter flirt would be, then I'll be your tapoizama race to help you relieve your tension. No one in the right mind would respond with that. 
Thank you so much, Melanie Henry, for the super chat. Ooh, that Canadian super chat. Thank you. Hey, you know I'm just kidding, right? Uh, maybe Akarsha likes me too. I don't know. When there's no one around to flirt with, I flirt with you just to practice. Super well, super chat. it's not funny. In her haste to catch up with Dia, Akarsha trips over a crack in the sidewalk. Parkour! Super chat. Super chat. <laughs> I'm gonna say that the next time I trip over a crack in the sidewalk. Rodrigo Hernandez, thank you so much for the super chat. I love you too. Yeah. And Catherine, yeah. thank you for the super chat as well. Let me know if you got it. if the super chat noise is a bit overwhelming. <laughs> Just let me know. All right, we're on our way to school. The Prop 8 supporters are back at it again. Defend marriage, yes on Prop 8. For oh, protect the children. Yeah, let's let's not protect the children because there's nothing to protect. Hey, Dia, imagine biting into a gusher the size of your hand. Dia imagines it. Cool or yuck? Obviously cool. If you've ever had a gusher before, any size would be equally as delicious. Cool. I want one. Right? Thank you so much, M. Maifua, for the super chat. I love you, Cassie, and I've been watching you since Cloudy Apples. Thank you for sticking around, and thank you for the super chat. All right, we're here. First off, we have to go to our locker, and then we can go to class. And I'm about to steal lunch from my best friend's lunchbox, because that's what I do. Even though she needs the nutrients, because she's very weak, and she's very just kind of like thin and sickly. Dia opens her locker. We're going in Noelle's lunchbox. Dia opens the lunchbox and peers inside. There's bitter melon in Noelle's stir fry today. If you've never had bitter melon before, it's something that... My Asian mother tries to make me eat all the time. She says it's very, very healthy for you. She used to put it in my smoothies, but it makes me gag. It is the most bitter thing in the entire world. I can't stand it, but apparently it's very good for you. And I accidentally hit the super chat test button. So oh my goodness. Sorry. Don't Can't worry, don't that. worry about it. Cassie, it's pronounced Frawa? Is it? Dia and Noelle both hate bitter melon. Of course, eh, who likes bitter melon? Is, was there anyone in the world who likes bitter melon? Oh, I'm gonna stare at the rosin. Mmm, that rosin's a nice amber color. It looks like you can eat it, but you can't. It's for an instrument. And the geometry. Dia hefts her books and binders into her backpack. All right, I can go to class now. Slam this thing shut! And let's go to class. Emily Aquilino. Aqu Aquilino, thank you so much for the sponsor. The live stream is leggy. Are you sure you like bitter melon? Adorable kawaii how? How do you eat it? How do you like it? Lunar Bonbon, thank you so much for the super chat, one dollar. All right, we're going to class. Dia, help me. Bonjour. Noelle smacks Akarsha really hard. Ow, how mean. Noelle hands Dia the water bottle as though nothing happened. Okay, well, let's open the water, but what could it be? What's the worst thing that could happen? Dia twists the plastic seal cap and open and returns to the bottle. Returns the bottle to Noelle. Thank you. Are you all right? You seem off. Okay, so I just opened the water for Noelle. Like I said, she's very weak, very thin. <laughs> very, very thin, no muscles. Think about that before you hit me. Not everything is about you. I was talking to Dia. About what? What? There's nothing wrong with her. Are you blind? She looks like a dog who just ate a Christmas ornament. Crap. It's that obvious that I had the best dream of my life last night and didn't get much sleep? Are you devastated about tiger sharks again? What? Dia found a picture of what tiger sharks look like the other day and was so disappointed that she had to go lie down. I don't even know what she was expecting. Okay, I seriously doubt that's the issue right now. Dia, let me rephrase. You are secretly worried about something and you can tell me what it is. Oh, my good friends are too good they can tell that I'm worried. Gammy Ellen, Gammy Ennis, thank you so much for the sponsor. And sorry about my reading skills. And my foi, thank you so much. For the super chat again, love the LGBTQ game. I'm bisexual and Canadian. We're in Can we're in Canada. Are you from Matt? Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my good. Okay, a hundred dollars is too much money, Matt. 
I'm still at work, but wanted to stop by while I have the chance. I love you guys. Oh, I love you too, Matt. You're so sweet. I can't tell her that I'm... Oh, I think Dia's starting to come around to it. I knew it. She's becoming emo. No, I'm not becoming emo. All the warning signs were there. The black hair, the... We all have black hair. We're Asian. Dia, you know you can tell me anything, right? Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. I don't know why I'm being so shy about it. Little monster, thank you so much for the super chat. Love me. Tell tell Terry he's cool. And make things with Jay. <laughs> Catherine, thank you so much for the super chat. One dollar. And Matt, I can't believe you! Thank you, Matt. You're so supportive. Thank you. And by the way, you don't have to do that. You don't have to. Thank you, Matt. Lunar Bonbon, bon, thank you so much for the two dollar super chat. Okay. So I'm not... I'm not gonna tell them yet. I'm obviously, I, I don't know, I, I mean, it's fresh, right? Maybe I just don't wanna say it out loud right now. All right, let's look. Look at the flyer. Join the new baseball club. Beginners welcome, baseball club? <gasps> it's a baseball club! Baseball club. It'll probably be all guys. What? Don't girls play baseball too? I saw on TV before. You're thinking of softball, not baseball. What's the difference? Softball is like baseball put through Google Translate and back. Everything's off by a few degrees. Dia, Dia takes a closer look at the flyer. The first meeting is this Friday. It'll be scary going all by myself, but I made a promise back then. She would have been disappointed if I didn't go. And by the way, guys, the reason why you don't hear my keyboard clickety clacking all over the place is because I got a new one. So right now we are at the meeting. Are you going to be okay on your own with a bunch of strangers? I have social anxiety. I thought so. If you're going, I'm going with you. Oh, but don't you hate sports? Of course, I won't participate, but I'll just utilize the time to do homework. Thank you. I don't like social situations, and I'm excited that my friend Noelle is coming with me. There's a reason why I love her, and why she's my best friend. I feel a lot better now. Back by unpopular demand, me. Why are you here? I'm bored. There's not enough drama around here for my taste. I'll be the idea man. We don't need an idea man! New baseball rule. Everyone gets a brick. And what you do with it is up to you. Baseball without limits. Just go home already! Aw, I wish people would be nicer to Akarsha with her lame jokes. Miku, thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. A B B. Also, can Noelle pipe the fuck down? Okay, cool. What's wrong with Noelle? I mean, I like Akarsha better, too. Little monster, thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. What happened to the puppet? Bring him back? We'll bring Carl back. He's chilling over while well, he's, like, sleeping over there right now. It's a long hibernation. It's a, like, a very long hibernation for the winter. <laughs> There's a stranger over there. Wow. She's taller than me. I'm so tall. Dia accidentally makes eye contact with her. Ah! Hey! Ah! The stranger starts walking over. Ah! She looks so strong. Crap, she's coming this way. She looks intimidating. If I say the wrong thing, she's gonna think I'm weird. Maybe if I lie motionless on the ground, she'll think I'm asleep or dead. Yeah, good plan. Closing. <laughs> Dia plays dead. No, Dia! Don't do this! Hey, you guys are here to join the baseball club, right? I'm Krissa. Oh, that's a nice name. They call me Ukashub. Akarsha, stop. No, they don't! It's Welsh. It's not Welsh! Her name is Akarsha. I'm so sorry. She's always like this. And this is Dia. Get up, Dia! Noelle is trying to pull an unresponsive Dia back into an upright position. Really? Uh, is she okay? She's fine. She just takes a while to warm up to people. No kidding. She did this to me for an, the entire month of September. Uh, I can't help being shy and your bullying doesn't make me feel better about it. Dia has finally given up on faking her death. Quiet kid, huh? Why does everyone always say that? I'm not that quiet. Once I get to know people, I'm super annoying. I'm just quiet at first. Maria Alcantara, thank you so much for the super chat. One dollar. Olivia, thank you so much for the super chat. 
That face when you're the Akarsha of your friend group. I'm pretty sure I'm the Akarsha as well. Red Fox123, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Show us the food. I don't have food right now. All I have is this tea. <sighs> All I have is tea and like healthy food behind me that I gotta eat later. She's not that much of a talker, but she's shredded. Look how ripped her abs are. Please don't look at my abs. Akarsha tries to lift up Dia's shirt to expose her stomach. Calmly, Dia, catch Dia catches Akarsha's wrist and twists it behind her back. Just doing some jujitsu right now. Ah, okay, mercy. Dia played a lot of baseball back in elementary school. That's great. What position did she play? Uh, she's the person standing behind the the swinging place. The catcher? <laughs> you mean the batter's box? I'm the catcher. Oh, because me and Min talked about that a long time ago. Min was gonna throw knuckleballs, and I was gonna catch them, and we're gonna date. The swinging place. Really, man? Shut up! How was I supposed to know? What do you call the bat, then? The baseball stick? I said shut up! What about you, Akarsha? I can bench press over 6 million and 92 nanograms. That's barely two pounds! <laughs> Noelle's very smart. I'm surprised she could do that, Matt. Uh, it sounded better the way I said it. Krista turns to Noelle and points at her. What about you? You haven't introduced yourself yet. Oh, I'm not here to join. We probably won't meet again. That's a shame. I should try to change your mind. I strongly advised against it. Your efforts will prove futile. If you say so. In any case, we're glad you all came. We'll be starting the meeting in a bit. In the meantime, you guys can get your paperwork from Liz first. Gotcha! Krissa goes off to greet some other girls who showed up. I guess she isn't too scary after all. Maybe we'll be friends! She seems like the kind of person who'd walk into a pizza restaurant she ate at one time six years ago and yell, Remember us? <laughs> oh! This is that weird girl from yesterday who tried to get me to sign that waiver that I couldn't understand. Queen Cousin Sisters donated $10 through Super Chat. Thank you so much. Hi, my first video is when you did the mail yourself in a box. <laughs> I'm so sorry that was your first video. Taylor Bonner, thank you so much for the Super Chat $2. Thank you so much for the love. I really appreciate it, guys. Oh, girl from before. Yeah, that's a good name for her. Hello, can I help you? You must be Liz. Yep. Yeah? She hands them their forms. I don't need one. I'm not here to join. Uh, are you sure? We'd love to have you. No, you really don't. I'm not the athletic type. Then joining us would do you some good, don't you think? We need all the players we can get, so don't be afraid we'll reject you or anything like that. We'll accept you no matter what, whether you're good, bad, dumb, weird, unathletic. What's with all those insults mixed in? And no, I'm genuinely not interested. I hate sports. I'm just here for Dia. That's so sweet of you. It's not as though it takes a lot of effort to sit here and do nothing. I coincidentally happen to be free today anyway. Aw, oh, you don't have to get all embarrassed about it. I'm not getting embarrassed! Liz smiles at Dia, who shrinks back in fear. I'm so glad you came. Changed your mind about the club, have you? I knew you'd come around. Oh, is that what she was trying to get me to sign? It was a waiver about baseball? <laughs> I thought it was some sort of like weird political crazy shit. You were so scary. Everyone would back up whenever you came up to bat. By the way, why is everyone in this club a girl? What? They are? Look, there's us four, Krissa, and then some other random girls over there. That's so odd. So... It isn't on purpose? No, nope. I don't know why those other girls joined. What a strange coincidence. Are you sure you guys didn't, like, subconsciously do it? Why would we subconsciously want a group of girls? Because guys are like communism. They're good in concept, but in reality, they suck. When you gather enough guys into a group, they suddenly become a bunch of douchebags. It's like magic. What kind of over generalization is that? It's not racist if it's true. 
do you ever stand in a circle of people talking and not say anything the entire time? Because that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Little monster, thank you so much for the super chat, two dollars. And thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for the continued super chats. Did I miss you, Kaylon? Thank you, Kaylon, for the super chat. There you are. Thank you. There's no reason for me to be here. I wonder how it's so easy for them to just talk. Dia stares off into space. Eventually, the conversation draws to a close, and Liz goes off to attend the other club members. Finally! Dude, I can't just get over how weird her name is. That kind of name is Liz. It's probably short for something. Like what? Lesbian? Lesbian? What? What's with all this lesbian foreshadowing? That's not a name! Lizard man? That'd be a thousand times weirder than Liz in the first place. No, wait, I got it. Her parents meet at a petco when the lizards went on sale, but there was only one left. So then they were like, darn, we gotta get married and share it. No one would get married over that. You'd be surprised, man. Some people are hella desperate. Nobody is that desperate. And then Lizard Man was born. They gave her kid they gave their kid a name that paid homage to their lizard origins, but in a low-key way. Totally plausible. Myth confirmed. Noelle is trying really hard not to smile. Why don't why doesn't she just smile at Akarsh's jokes? Myth not confirmed. Her name could just be Liz by itself. Nah, that's boring. My beautiful romance is way better. Your beautiful romance was set in Petco. So picky, man. What kind of Frenchman are you? Weird name, no mustache, no romance. Look, how is my name weird? All names have to originate from somewhere. I don't get why you're so fixated on it. Because it's strange? Isn't Noelle normally a name you give to kids born in December? My parents are Asian. They don't know that. It's like how there's a guy in our class named Sky because his parents didn't know it's a girl name. I like Sky for a guy name. There's also a Chinese guy in the grade above us named Stone. Stone? I'm pretty sure my parents stole my name from a random girl who lived down the street. They probably didn't know a lot of Western names and just thought it sounded good. But still, what kind of Chinese parents would name their kid Noel? It doesn't match up at all. It's like if I had a kid and named him Naruto. Noelle looks really taken aback. That? That would be weird. Literally all of your ancestors going back for centuries had names like Wong Kar Wai or Mulan or whatever. And then there's you, Combo Breaker! Also, do you ever think about how crazy it is that we're friends? With the things you're saying right now, Akarsha, like I'm a little surprised that we're friends right now. In any part of history up until now, we never would have met. And even if we did by some miracle, we wouldn't speak the same language. We wouldn't even be able to communicate. Well, you and Akarsha could. Nah, we wouldn't. They don't speak Hindi in Tamil Nadu, right, Madrasi? Don't call me that. What's wrong with calling you Madrasi when you're from Madras? Is it Madras? Yeah. Madras? 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 I'm just, like, showing the world how uncultured I am right now. <laughs> um, will you just make sure that I'm not blurry? I just saw someone in the chat say that I look blurry. Yeah, just, uh, refresh it. Yeah, just refresh it if I'm blurry. Why is Akarsha of all people talking about names? What's wrong with Akarsha? <laughs> Little monster, make- Thank you so much for the super chat. Make Terry jelly by playing Seduce Me 1, 2, and 3. Oh, he doesn't get jealous that easily. And Queen Cousin Sisters, thank you so much for the super chat. $20, oh my god! That's so nice, thank you. What's wrong with calling you an idiot when you are one? It's sad imagining Noelle all by herself on a little island in Taiwan. What do you mean all by herself? It's not like I'd be completely alone without you two. Um, uh, that's debatable. Stop looking skeptical! I would be able to make different friends. Obviously. Sure. If you say so. You're the worst! I hate you! 
Krissa brings her fingers to her lips and lets out a sharp whistle to get their attention. Oh, I wish I could finger whistle. <laughs> Can't do it. Alright, guys, meeting starting. Alright. Let's see what happens. Everyone gathers in front of Krissa and Liz. Welcome to the baseball club. As you're probably aware, our school doesn't have an official baseball program anymore, so we made one ourselves. You guys can think of it as a baseball team light edition. Or a cheap budget edition since we can't afford to hire managers and stuff. Light edition sounds less scrappy, like Coke Zero. Anyhow, you can read up on the details in your membership club forms. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is just a recreational club for fun, not an official school sports team, so the paperwork is really simple. There's just a membership fee and a sheet and your parents have to sign. Basically, the sheet says, if you get hurt or whatever while you're here, uh, you can't sue us. Oh, and our practice schedule's in there too, though we're still negotiating our game dates. Oh! The girl standing in front of Dia raises her hand and she's looking fly today with that curly hair. Game dates? Who are we playing against? Whoever we can get, mostly teams from other schools. But don't worry, it'll be pretty casual. Hopefully we have enough members to at least fill the roster by then. Any other questions? If every person on Earth aimed a laser pointer at the moon at the same time, would it change color? Ugh. Any relevant questions? Silence. Then, let's all introduce ourselves with a cheesy icebreaker activity. Say your name, grade, and one fun fact about yourself. Dia immediately wants to go home. This is not the kind of thing- she doesn't like the spotlight, okay? No, I hate these. I can never think of any fun facts. I'm so boring. I'll start. I'm Krissa, and I'm a senior. Fun fact. Uh, I have one. She reads cryptid articles at night and scares herself, and then is afraid to get up and use the bathroom. If you're gonna choose a fact for me, at least choose a flattering one. My turn now. I'm Liz, and I'm a senior too. Her fun fact is that she can lick her elbow. I thought it was supposed to be impossible to do that. Do it! Liz does it. What the? What is she, a clown? Okay, I don't know about this Liz girl. She's freaking me out. XD, thank you so much for the super chat, $5. Hi again, Gloom. Hi, thank you for coming to my stream. I hope you're enjoying it. Dia has gone back to being afraid of Liz again. Liz gestures at another girl to go next. Watashi wa Sakura Desu. And I'm Yuki. There's no way those are your real names. Hey, it doesn't hurt to humor them. Support their interests. Watashi wa, um, in 10th grade. Watashi wa, um, in 10th grade too. Stop talking like that. I found my people. Oh, Akarsha found her people. They're gonna make lame jokes. Okay, is Akarsha still gonna hang out with us now that she knows these people? The next girl looks uh, a little bit more normal. I'm Esther. Wait, why are you here? I tried to recruit you before, but you said you weren't interested in baseball. I'll give it a chance. All right, which anime has baseball in it? What? I, I never said it was because of... Which anime has baseball in it? It's Ufuri. Oh. Don't tell me that's why Sakura and Yuki are here too. Heck no. I play baseball every day. I'm here because of Daya, no ace. Oh. Okay. What? Is it a crime to like anime? Yes. Okay, let's move on. Dia watches the icebreakers progress with mounting terror. Her palms have grown clammy, like when she's getting ready to say here during roll call. Crap, it's almost my turn and I can't think of anything cool to say. I like crunching on ice cubes. When I go to people's houses, I'm too scared to ask where the cups are, so I go to the bathroom and drink from the faucet instead. Whenever an assembly is over and we're supposed to help carry the folding chairs back, I secretly hope people notice how many I'm holding. I'm pretty strong. These are all so bad. What the? By now, three other people have gone. It's Akarsha's turn. What up, Ding Dongs? I'm a freshman. Ding Dongs. My name is Wikishi. Ah! Fun fact. I once found two mutant tater tots that were fused together and sold them on eBay for $40. 
Selling things sounds stressful. I would have just eaten them. Noelle is the next one over, so everyone looks at her expectantly. Skip me. I'm not here to join. Let's move on to Dia, shall we? All eyes are on Dia now. Okay, calm down. <clears throat> me. All I have to say is I'm Dia. But wait, didn't she just say my name? Does it seem redundant if I repeat it? No, I'm overthinking this. I should just say it like everyone else. I'm Dia. Yeah, so far, so good. What else was I supposed to say? Uh, panic is rising in Dia's chest. I I've already messed up. I'm embarrassing myself in front of everyone. This is the worst. Even worse than reading out a passage in front of class. I shouldn't have come here. Dia bolts from the meeting. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> distantly she can hear Noelle calling out after her. Dia, wait! I can't go back now. I am out of here! Powered by nervous energy, Dia barrels into the locker room. Her plan is now basically to run as far as her legs can carry her. I suddenly feel like running three or four miles. Dia crashes into someone. <gasps> Hello? Who is it? Ah! I landed on my butt. Someone is lying on top of her. They roughly grab the front of Dia's shirt. Watch where you're going, you motherfuck! It's men! Dia! It's you! Min hugs her. Oh! Finally! This is my childhood best friend. I had a dream about her. It may or may not have been romantic. It may or may not have made me question my sexuality. But we're here now. And now, we finally get to figure it out. Oh my goodness! That's so cute! Beauty by Kylie17. Thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. I love you so much and you were so funny. I love you. I love you too. Pet fan donated five dollars through super chat. Hey Gloom, I'm an advocate for the pet education project. And if you could take the time for, to Google it for 30 seconds, I would love that. Sure! Please go longer. Can't show us Twinkie. Will you grab Wink? Yeah, I'll grab it. Min hugs her. <laughs> Wow, this is great! I promised I'd come back, didn't I? I'm never letting go of you again. Okay. I'm okay with that. Hey, Wing! That's pretty honky. How's it going? I'm never letting go of you again! Hmm. Uh, <laughs> how long are we gonna lay here together? I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. I'm gay! I'm gay! I need to get up! Um... Actually, this ground is pretty gross and dirty. I can see other people's hair on it. Oh, okay. I'll let you up. Min gets off. Min gets off and looks Dia up and down as she staggers to her feet. Wow. I almost forgot how pretty you are. You could be a model. <laughs> I almost forgot she did this all the time. She was so flattering. When we were like in, I think it was fourth grade, she would always just be like, you're great. You're the best. And I don't know where it came from. <sighs> okay. You didn't get taller than me like you said you would. Hey, I'm still growing. You're off by almost a foot. There's still hope. It's gonna have a late growth spurt. You really never give up, do you? Of course not. I'll work so hard, I can take you. Overtake! I mean, overtake you! In an attempt to hide her embarrassment, Min turns her head to her side and points to her ear. Oh, was that... Was that like a little Freudian slip? Look! I have piercings now! Don't I look cool? You look cool. And I got a butterfly knife! Min pulls a knife out. Uh-oh, put the knife down, Min. Watch this! Min flips the knife open and does a trick. It looks really dangerous. Whoa, Min is so brave. I missed you. I missed you too. So I think Dia thinks this means hi, but according to chat and the comments, it means I love you. But Dia doesn't know that. I love you. <laughs> oh, she's breaking a sweat. She's breaking a sweat up here. I like to fart. This is what I taught her instead of hello. It's not as romantic. <laughs> 
someone runs into the locker room. She's wheezing so hard for breath that Tia knows who it is before looking. Hi, Noelle. Tia, there you are. Everyone is looking for you. You. Min is very jealous of Noelle because Noelle is my best friend. Um, Min doesn't like Noelle at all. So I'll just say that much. And it's awkward. How? You... Why are you here? That's my line. I can't believe Dia still lets a weakling like you hang out with her. You. You Empire State Building. Min does a trick with her butterfly knife. It's very threatening. Why do you have a knife? Put that away. I'll put it away in your heart. This is getting awkward. Very awkward. Shut up! Sounded cooler in my head. No one even said anything. Anyway, aren't knives like that illegal in California? If I wanted to, I could report you to the police. Min reluctantly puts the knife away. Fuck you. Ooh. Min threateningly draws in closer to Noelle and whispers into her ear, voice low. The dramatic effect is slightly ruined by the fact that Min has to step on top of a storage bin to be taller. I hate you. I hate you more than the stringy things on bananas. Why? I didn't do anything. Shut up. I won't lose to you. What are you even talking about? Someday, Dia's gonna realize she's out of your league. You're not even taller than her anymore, so all your advantages are gone. I... I what? When she doesn't like you anymore, I'll gut you and feed you to her dog. She doesn't even have a dog. I'll buy her a dog and train it to eat you. Someone else ran into the locker room. Akarsha, is that you? It only takes a second for Dia and Noelle to recognize the sound of Akarsha's flip-flops. Of course, she wears flip-flops. Hey, Chris and Liz are looking for you too. Okay, so some awkward silences. Uh, have I missed something here? Who the fuck are you? Uh, who the fuck are you? I asked first, jackass. Wow, almost cut myself on this edge. She is pretty edgy. Before Akarsha can react, Min grabs the front of her jacket and slams her back into the wall. You want a piece of me? Uh... Whoa. Not gonna lie, if you were taller, this would be pretty hot. Ah! Min punches Akarsha in the face! Oh no! Stop it! Dia picks Min up and throws her several feet across the room. Uh oh! Dia sticking up for her friends. Min just got thrown. Min! You stay back! I'll handle this. No, but. Is anyone gonna explain to me what's going on here? Who's this emo shoddy? Who are you calling short? But you are short. Min charges at Akarsha. Yeah! Akarsha kicks her foot out so the flip-flop flies off. It hits Min's face with a loud slap. Mm -hmm. Min tackles Akarsha to the ground. It keeps going. You think you're so smart, huh? Well, guess what? I hate smart people. Her hands close around an Akarsha's back. In a panic, Akarsha scrambles at Min's wrists, but it's no use. Use your head, you stupid clown! If you die, I'll kill you! Akarsha sticks a hand down her own leggings. <laughs> Why would she stick her hand down her own leggings? What the fuck? This better not be your kink or something. Akarsha Akarsha smears her blood-caked hands across Min's face. I see. Let's just let you guys see that there. Okay. Uh, uh. Min, she let go, to say the least. <coughs> Ew, yuck! In the confusion, Akarsha staggers to her feet, gasping for breath. Noelle rushes to support her. When Akarsha slings her arm over Noelle's shoulders, she accidentally brushes Noelle with her bloody hand. You contaminated me too! Noelle shoves Akarsha away, leaving her to fend for herself. Akarsha menacingly holds out her dirty hand in Min's direction like a weapon. 
Min backs away, desperately avoiding being touched by the period blood hand. Stay away! Can't touch this! You... you nasty ass hoe! That's me. If I can't win by being a kung fu master, I'll win by being a piece of garbage. Min looks weirdly moved by Akash's words. You crazy bitch. Who are you? They call me... Rail Tracer. Literally no one calls you that. Quiet you. Min has stopped attacking completely now. In fact, she looks kind of impressed. You're the worst scum ever. Let's be friends. Really? So, are we cool? I guess. More importantly, that was really gross just now, so I never want to fight you again. Let's start over. I'm Min. Min? As in, the delinquent kid? The one who knifed someone? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Are you kidding me? I've been looking for you. I need a dumb rebel friend to enable me to make bad decisions. They're... Getting along? Noelle isn't gonna like this because Min just does not like Noelle at all. What's happening? I don't like this! With her clean hand, Akarsha makes a fist and offers it out to Min. Bros? Bros. They fist bump. Be the ye to my haw. The knuckles to my enchilada. The human to my centipede. I don't like this. We can annoy Noel together. I have a terrible feeling about this. Min is quietly- Min is quickly taking the opportunity to wipe her face on Akarsha's windbreaker. Ew! No, stop! It's your own damn blood! I don't want it either, man! Noelle tries to wipe her contaminated arm on Akarsha too. Akarsha dodges to avoid it. Chat, can you hear this flute music? It's like, it's too much for me. I'm dead. <laughs> Ew! Dia, hold her down! Uh, okay. No, 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 please, Dia, homie, listen. With brutal efficiency, Dia grabs Akarsha's wrist, covers the bloody hand with a plastic bag, and ties it shut. Then she pins Akarsha to the ground, thrashing and screaming. Krissa and Liz come through the door with the rest of the team following after them. Akarsha, Dia, Noel, and Min freeze, mid-scuffle, still covered in blood. Good! You're all the hell- what the- Noel points accusingly- Accusing Ling Ling Lee at Min. It's all her fault! Dia did nothing wrong! What? It's your fault for being annoying! You started it! You called me names first! Okay. We don't care who started it. Liz stumbles over Akarsha's fallen flip flop on the ground. Whose shoe is this? Oh, mine. Why isn't it on your foot? I kicked it off. Why? She hit me! Akarsha points at Min. How old are you guys? Five? Exasperated, Krissa turns to Min. And you're Min. You here to play baseball too? Yeah. I got here late. Well, Min, I'm Krissa. She has a knife. You damn snitch! Hand the knife over. Why should I? Because if you don't, I won't let you play baseball. You... You can do that? I can do that. Min looks very shocked. You can have it back when we're done. But you don't need it here. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Min pulls the knife from her pocket and gives it to Krissa. All of them. Come on, we don't have all day. Reluctantly, Min shakes her jacket out. Several more knives clatter to the ground. Krissa puts them all on top of a cabinet in the corner of the room. It's too tall for Min to reach. She sadly looks up at them. Let's go to the field and actually play some baseball now. We're going to lock this place up, so you can leave your backpacks here. Well, I need mine. I'm doing homework. Sorry. If you're here, you're playing. I refuse. So if you want to do it the hard way, good, because I love the hard way. I, I have no obligation to stay here and argue with you. Dia's fine now. I'm going home. Really? Then where are your house keys? What kind of question is that? They're right here in my- Noelle whirls to the spot where she put down her book bag earlier. It's gone. 
Krissa adds Noelle's book bag to the top of the cabinet. No! Come on. Suffering builds character. I don't want character. I guess we're all playing baseball now? I guess we are. Finally. Why did it land on Noelle? Noelle, okay. Third grade. Well, oh. So we just went through Dia's past and now we're going through Noelle's. Okay, well, I I have a, a, a spiritual connection with Dia. So this is a bit hard for me. All right, problem one. Noelle is, um, she's very smart. She's very afraid of failing. She's an overachiever, does very well, and she apparently can solve this math problem with a heart in it. Problem one. What is this? I can't read the test paper. Ah, uh, oh. I don't know if I can solve this optical illusion. There's an upside down question mark in it. There's a diamond in it. There's a dollar sign in it? Let's go with negative three. That doesn't look like a negative three answer though. I don't know, what do you think, chat? Uh, Cassie, someone donated $100. I know it was Matt, he's so sweet. It's 12? Are you sure? All right, we're going in. Oh no, I have to answer another one. Problem two. I don't know anything. I don't understand any of this. I'm going to fail. All my hard work up until now was for nothing. Don't you just love when you like study for a test and then you open it and there's upside down question marks and dollar signs? <laughs> Wake up. What? Wake up. Huh? Oh, I'm having exam anxiety, aren't I? Oh, and look at a little baby Dia. Dia looks very concerned. I had a nightmare. Ugh, that was silly. It wasn't even real. Sorry. Feel better. She presents Noelle with a poorly wrapped, lumpy gift, almost as big as she is. Happy birthday! Desperate, or despite Dia's best efforts, several spots of the gift aren't properly covered with the wrapping paper, and Noelle can clearly see what's inside. I appreciate your kindness. May I open it here? Dia nods eagerly. Noelle unwraps the present and pretends to be shocked by its contents. It's a giant, bright green snake plush. His name is Snakey. Look at how he's striped. Noel looks. Indeed, he is striped. He's the youngest. He has two older brothers and a sister. You bought this for me? I won him from the hammer game at the fair. Hit the hammer really hard. I chose him because he reminds me of you, you damn snake. He reminds her of me? How? I don't even like snakes. And stuffed animals are a useless waste of space. Yet, against all logic, a lump forms in Noelle's throat, impossible to swallow. Noelle quickly stamps down all stupid emotions and focuses on organizing her thoughts. Thank you. He is green, soft, and at least five feet long. Who wouldn't love that? I will place him in my bedroom and preserve him in mint condition for as long as possible. <laughs> she looks happy. A warm and fuzzy feeling swells inside Noelle's chest. Wait, does Noelle like Dia? Am I gonna have to choose who goes with who? Because Dia and Min, that's like my OTP. Hey, Derp Derp, welcome to the chat. She called Noelle a snake. <laughs> and thank you for coming, Potato. I'm playing Butterfly Soup. This is about Asian girls who play baseball and like each other, and it's lovely. You're my favorite person. I think I may have developed some kind of attachment to you, too. We should go on vacation together someday when we grow up. Would be fun. I think I'm finally starting to understand why Min doesn't like Noelle, because, like, Dia's obsessed. That would be fun. I would accompany you with only mild complaining. Where? Maybe England? Can go to diagonal... Uh... Noelle watches Dia's face drop as she silently goes through the five stages of grief, remembering the most remembering most of the locations in Harry Potter aren't actually real. So we can at least see platform nine and three quarters. They put a plaque of it at King's Cross. Okay. What else do you want to see in England? Um 
all you can eat buffet. They have those here too. It's so simple to make you happy. If everyone thought like you, there would be no wars. Dia doesn't appear to know how to respond to this, so she just smiles and looks away shyly. Dia's so cute. I have a crush on Dia. Um, I can't take her. If we run out of things to do in England, we can always watch TV in our hotel room. Hmm? No, you complain too much when things aren't scientifically correct. Like, when radioactive things cause superpowers, you get so hung up on it, it's distracting. Distracting? How? Distracting like... Noelle watching a movie in class. Shut up, shut up, shut up! This is not scientific! He can't do that! That's not how nuclear physics work! No! Shut up! Uh, we can watch an educational nature documentary then, like Planet Earth. I don't like the part where the baby elephant follows its mom's tracks the wrong way. We can skip the part where the baby elephant follows its mom's tracks the wrong way. Suddenly, Dia starts climbing off the playground structure. Just remember. Actually, Dia had been preparing to say this for the past 15 minutes. Want you to meet someone. I made a new friend yesterday. Really? Who? Min. Min. Is that a boy or a girl? Uh, not sure. How can you not be sure? Didn't you meet? It was hard to tell. You'll see what I mean. I will? When you become friends. Min is really nice. Gave me a seaweed sheet. I love seaweed sheets. I'm obsessed with Min. I love Min too. Did Min come back? She did! She did Dragon Makes ASMR. And right now we are going through Noelle's story. And thank you for the moderation, Sherby. I've never seen you this excited about over someone before. And it's making me anxious. They must be really something. Dia looks like she agrees. Are we gonna fight now? This must be him. Her. <laughs> Instead of introducing them, Dia is just happily standing there in silence. Dia was always the awkward type, so you can't really expect her to be like, oh, this is everyone meet and everyone like say a little thing about yourself for 10 minutes. It's awkward though. The other girl circles around Noelle, sizing her up. Her face darkens when she sees the snake plushie Dia gave her. So, you're Dia's best friend. You, you giraffe. What? I'll fight you. Excuse me? There can only be one of us. So, we have to duel. I'll beat you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. What? No. Starting in three, two, one. I already said no. Uh-oh. What was that all about? What an idiot. What does Dia see in someone that dumb? I don't understand. I'm home. What did you get on your math test today? Better be 98 or plus. Uh, an A minus. A minus? Why not A? Noelle's mom is cutting a column out of the Chinese newspaper. Look at this article. This boy was accepted into every single Ivy League school. He lives in Pleasanton. If he can do it, why can't you? I'm putting this on your wall to inspire you. She gets up and tapes it up in Noelle's bedroom next to a poem her dad printed out. There is no success without hardship. So harsh. The last star, Ryle Raptor, thank you so much for the super chat, five dollars. <laughs> and I hope you're enjoying the game. <laughs> Can I go to the park with Dia this Saturday? What for? We're taking a walk around the lake. There's also a petco nearby. She wants to look at the fish and the hamsters. Will Dia still be your friend if you say no? Yes, but I want to. Then there's no point. Now that you've already established your friendship, you should be expending the minimum amount of energy to maintain it. Otherwise, you're just wasting your limited time. Fun is an illusion. Don't be controlled by your emotions. But I'm free Saturday and Chinese school is on break. 
You can use it to study for your tests at school. I already studied for them. All of them? I finished reading all of my textbooks already, twice! Did you do all the practice problems? I did all the practice problems. Heh <laughs> take that. There's nothing that could possibly be left <laughs> for my English. There's nothing that could possibly be left for me to do. I'll buy next year's textbooks so you can get started on those, then. No! Ugh. Upset, Noelle curls up in bed angrily, hugging her giant snake plushie. It's so cute. I had one of these when I was little, actually. It was like a beanie baby. I think I called him Snakey as well. Read next year's textbook. It's the only thing I can do! The fox and the grapes. A hungry fox saw a fine bunch of grapes hanging from a vine. He did his best to reach them by jumping as high as he could into the air. But it was all in vain, for they were just out of reach. So he gave up trying and walked away with an air of dignity and unconcern, remarking, I thought those grapes were ripe, but now I see they are quite sour. Reading comprehension questions, why doesn't the fox eat the grapes? Because they were sour. He couldn't reach them. He wasn't hungry. All of the above? Didn't he tr He tried to reach them, and then he couldn't reach them, and they were like, screw them, it was sour anyway. So maybe he, like, kind of did some uh, mental gymnastics to justify his lack of ability to reach the grapes. What do you think, chat? Her mom is a jerk? Well, her mom just wants the best for her. I, um... I had uh, parents that were somewhat similar, and they just wanted the best for me. I remember reading that story. Well then help me answer the question! They were sour? Alright. Well that's what it said at the end, but couldn't he not reach them as well? Or did I just not reach? Or did I just not pay attention? <laughs> I'm just gonna say they were sour. What if I get it wrong though? And what if I get in trouble? Everyone's saying too, he couldn't reach them? See, I think that that's- I think that the sour thing was, like, just an excuse. I'm gonna go for- you couldn't reach them. <sighs> Through the window. Noelle can hear someone whiffing a badminton racket outside. Sorry! Is that Min? It's okay. It sounds like they're playing badminton in the driveway without a net. They're probably in the dumb kid <laughs> They're probably in the dumb kid class. <laughs> that's not very nice, Noelle. She's probably just mad because she has to spend all her time inside, like, trying to study. What does it was all in vain mean? It was useless. It was very close. It was a great success. It was useless. Did you just fart? Yeah, she's <laughs> okay. Wow. It was useless. Call Sorry. <laughs> Calling out my boyfriend for farting on a live stream. That's really, really classy. <laughs> it was just his chair, guys. <laughs> No! Oh my god, did you see that? They're both laughing, and I'm studying inside. Stupid hooligans wasting their time. Having fun? Ha! I'm above such petty unnecessities. They'll regret it when they're working at McDonald's someday. This makes me feel better anyway. Shelby Garbiso, thank you so much for the super chat $2. I can't stay, but I wanted to say hi and love you. I love you too. And thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the support. I hate sports anyway. I'm the real winner here. What's the message of the story? Appearances are deceptive. Look before you leap. It's easy to despise what you cannot have. Uh, I think I see a double entendre here. I think that this is the one. Because like, she's like talking shit about all these kids who are outside playing. And like saying like, oh, they're gonna work at like McDonald's and like just rude shit like that. And it's kind of like what the snake, or not the snake, it's kind of what like the fox went through, you know? Like he tried to jump and he's like, eh, they're sour anyway. I think it's the third, yeah, I think it's theory two. Ninth grade. Oh. So now this is the game that Noelle doesn't want to be part of. Unfortunately, guys, I have to end the live stream here. 
not because I want to, but because I actually have to go to dinner at my parents' house. <laughs> and I don't want to be late for it. I hope you enjoyed the live stream, though. I think we've been on for an hour. Yes, we've been live streaming for an hour. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Please let me know if you'd like to see some more. I hope you do, because I really love this game. And thank you so much to my sponsors, my super chatters, everyone in the chat. I know you're all saying no right now, but I have to, and I'm sorry. I made these plans, and I, I, I have to go. Um, I'm gonna try to finish it in the next live stream, so, um, so that this doesn't happen again, because I do understand that it is kind of shit. You wanna say bye, Ter? You wanna say bye, Ter? Oh, Ter Bear Boy. Bye, guys. Uh, and, uh, thanks for showing up. Thanks for keeping me company in the chat. And, uh... Oh my god! Tell him about that thing. The thing? The thing. The thing you joined. Oh, um, I joined this really remarkable...